What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Recently we've been catching some giant slab crappie and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to clean them with an electric knife. This is a great tool to make quick work of your catch and to get some beautiful fillets. So let's start off by, let's show you the catch. We gotta brag a little bit. Let's put this cooler up here on the cleaning table. Take a look inside the little cooler. We have got some slabs. Oh, it looks like those smaller ones are on top. Let's get the big boys out. <laughs> look at that, big old slab crappie, giant black crappie. And uh, this is a great sized fish to clean with an electric knife. So we'll just start with the big guy. Let's put our catch down here and put him on the cutting board. Now if you see this little blue cutting board on top of the cleaning table, it's because this table has this kind of little ridge on the outside edge and I don't really like that whenever I'm cleaning fish. So we put the cutting board on the table. Now this is the knife we're gonna be using. This is an American Angler electric fillet knife. I'm not really partial to any brand. I've used Mr. Twister, I've used these, I've used Rapala, they're all pretty good. But what I like is a long and flexible blade whenever I'm cleaning any sort of fish. These are Mr. Twister blades actually and they have really good flex. And I like the long blade because it covers, as you can see, the entire fish. You, know, you don't want to have a shorter like five or six or seven inch blade really because you're not going to be covering the whole entire fish whenever you're cutting it. So this is a great one. There's a lot of cheap options and expensive options. We will link them all in the video description for you guys to check out, but this is one that's been working for us recently. To begin the electric filleting process, we're first going to flip over this pectoral fin and we're going to make our first cut around the head, around the operculum, that's the gill plate right here. And we're just going to kind of follow it right here down to the belly, right here above the pelvic fins. So let's start by doing that. And we're not going to cut all the way through. We're going to cut just to the bone in the middle, the middle spine. All right, so there's our first cut. Now we're gonna work the knife blade down the spine all the way down to the tail, but we're not gonna cut all the way through because we wanna flip the fillet over and get the meat off the skin. Okay, let's work this thing down to the tail. Nice and easy, controlled. Okay, shop to the tail. Now we're gonna flip our fillet over and we're gonna take the meat right off the skin. There's the filet off the skin. Now the good part about leaving it all together is that you have something to hold on to once you're taking the meat off. If you take the filet completely off before taking the meat off the skin, it's kind of difficult. So let's set that aside for a second. What we are left with is a nice big filet with the rib cage in it. So what we can do is we can actually cut that rib cage out without you know, just cutting straight down and losing the meat underneath the rib cage. And you can do that by just kind of flexing your knife and following the bones out. So we'll stick it right here behind the ribs. Kind of flex that knife. Out goes the rib cage. And what you are left with is a beautiful, perfect crappie filet. Now there are a few little pin bones right here, which if you fry the fish, you don't notice, but if you're gonna be cooking them in the skillet or grilling them, you might wanna cut that little section out right there with a the regular hand knife. But there it is, perfect meaty filet. Throw them in the bowl. Now let's flip our fish over and let's do it one more time so you can see it done on the opposite side. What's really awesome about cleaning crappie is they have these big old mouths that you can really get a good grip on before you start cutting. But let's go ahead and let's repeat the process. Flip over the pectoral fin, make our cut behind the head. And then we'll work the blade down the spine to the tail. And then we'll take the fillet right off the skin. There's your fillet. Fish goes in the bucket. And like the other side, we're just left with the rib cage. We'll take that out real quick. Big juicy meaty filet in the bowl. All right, we got one slab down and several more to go. We hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you find this video helpful or useful, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future fishing content. That being said, let's get back into the cooler.
And just like that, folks, we've got a big bowl full of delicious crappie fillets. Super fresh, straight from the lake, and they're gonna be great eating this week, and probably beyond. We've got a bunch of slabs in there. And as you just saw, the electric fillet knife made quick work of them. This is such a valuable tool for me. Um, I can clean a fish, you know, somewhere around 45 seconds or a minute per fish, so that greatly decreases my time that I spend cleaning fish and allows me to have more time out on the water just doing something besides cleaning fish, which is always a big thumbs up in my book. Anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Hope you got something out of it. If you did give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we will catch you on the next video. Peace out, guys.